Techx Media. I have with me Sanjit Bardhan, who is Vice President, Head of Emerging Markets, Physical Access Control Solutions at HID Global. Let's welcome him. Hi, hi Sanjit. How are you? Very well, uh, Rubha. Thanks for having me. I have a few questions for you, uh, Sanjit. Like um, I would like to ask that how far and fast have things changed in the last uh, several years, especially when it comes to secure identity products and solutions? And what steps HID Global has taken to meet the new challenges? Yeah, thanks. Uh, it's, and this is a very relevant question in today's uh, industry and today's uh, market. Uh, the world of access control has changed dramatically. In fact, uh, the evolution of technology that's, uh, uh, that's gone on over the last few years has been very dramatic. Uh, the technology adoption has been very steep. And as a result of which, uh, the way people have started utilizing access control has been very different. So if you want to go back a few years, uh, access control was a standard, you know, a card with access to a particular door in a very, very fragmented security uh, system. Whereas today you find a lot of centralized systems, um, touchless, seamless access control uh, being the need of the day. Um, and surrounded with a very, very robust um, and strong cybersecurity story sort of uh, fits the uh, current business needs. Um, and HID fortunately has been a leader in uh, a lot of these technologies I spoke about, and we continue to drive uh, leadership positions in these and continue to drive and uh, uh, work with our global end users, partners, and uh, systems integrators to launch these products into the industry. Great. Uh, so moving forward, how do you see business continuity being redefined in today's market? And how can HID Global assist enterprises in bridging the technological divide? Well, you see a lot of, uh, I think one of the biggest business priorities right now for multiple enterprises is how do they execute on the return to work um, storyline? Um, and there are lots of considerations, of course, you know, there are social distancing norms that need to be catered to. There are uh, capacity issues that need to be adhered to. There are local regulatory compliances that need to be um, complied with. With that, access control uh, becomes a very, very important tool that's utilized in order to make this thing happen. Now, um, if you look at the way HID's uh, product and solution portfolio comes in, um, if you start looking at things like mobile access, for example, touchless access and seamless access. Um, all of these things comply and work as very, very important uh, uh, tools in the big toolkit for our end users. Um, a lot of our customers are also utilizing solutions like location services in order to figure out if people within their properties and premises are utilizing their workspaces effectively and uh, within the laws. So when you start looking at all these things and start looking at the, the way people are uh, introducing the return to work policies, HID becomes a very trusted uh, advisor and a partner. So we take the headache, so to speak, away uh, from our end users and uh, work with them in uh, delivering their return to work uh, commitments to their employees. Interesting, interesting. Wishing all the best for HID Global for uh the future projects. Uh, so uh, uh, then uh, what are uh, some of the special nuances that need to be observed when uh, deploying biometrics across Middle East regions especially? Okay. Um, there are definitely some uh, nuances uh, within the Middle East. Uh, and there are some unique use cases that we see. One thing that we do very successfully is uh, what we call as VOC, that's voice of customer service. Uh, we talk to our uh, uh, end user customers, uh, we talk to our consultants uh, and a and &E partners and consistently get feedback from them as to what is on the top of their business priority list. Uh, when it comes uh, to the story around biometrics, of course, uh, data privacy and um, uh, confidentiality is at the top of the list, along with, you know, the cybersecurity piece. Um, now, Along with that, there are some, as I said, some elements of uh, uh, differences in the Middle East. For example, some of our customers we have noticed and we have experienced uh, who have not wanted to use facial recognition because of cultural uh, norms. Uh, but ap apart from that, there are more commonalities rather than differences. You know, cybersecurity consistently continues to be an important factor. 
in the Middle East, of course, there's harsh climatic conditions uh, where you need to have uh, products with sensors that can withstand the harsh temperatures. Product certifications are extremely important. And finally, I think in today's climate, the most, or today's world, in business world today, I think one of the most important things is the user experience. Uh, uh, it, is, it is probably uh, the worst thing to introduce solutions which are, the, the, which are difficult to use and are not easy to uh, uh, maneuver around. So we invest a lot of uh, uh, resources. We invest a lot of our R&D time in order to make the user experiences of our end users better. And this applies to all kinds of products, including our biometric solutions. So we've seen that a lot in the Middle East uh, where people care about the user experience. People want the simplicity. So, uh, and I'm glad that we are able to consistently bring about solutions which uh, adhere to these local and cultural norms. That's great. Uh, so now, um, Sanjit, we are seeing an increase in identity fraud as a result of rapid move to remote and online channels for work as seen around the world. How has the requirement for background checks and other identity proofing methods altered as a result of digital transformation? Uh, you know, digitization and digital transformation is the name of the game right now. I mean, everyone's talking about it and there is no way out um, the market continues to digitize itself and uh, more and more digital solutions keep coming about. Um, Paper-based identification uh, is legacy. You know, digital identification allows you to not only, uh, uh, you know, remotely manage uh, 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 access into a property or premise, but at the same point of time, with the cybersecurity guardrails that exist, uh, there are lots of checks and balances in place which uh, allow for uh, or uh, or avoid any kind of uh, uh, identity theft or any kind of fraud. Now, these are important considerations. As I said previously, cybersecurity is still at the top of the customer's list when it comes to digitization. Um, all our solutions um, have an extremely robust cybersecurity story, and we continue to lead with that. Our products, uh, um, our uh, thought processes, our technology uh, changes that we make, if they don't have a cybersecurity uh, story which is robust enough, we will not introduce them into the market. So uh, we work with our end users in order to make sure that all their uh, identities, uh, including uh, the confidentiality uh, that surrounds it, the data privacy, et cetera, is maintained to avoid any kind of fraud or theft. Okay. Uh, so now last question for today. What can we expect from HID Global over the next few years? I'd say it in a, in a very short and succinct uh, way. Uh, seamless access and touchless access continue to be the biggest uh, drivers and the biggest motivators in what we do. Uh, it's a part of our key strategic journey as well. And we see where the industry is moving. Um, part of being uh, um, a thought leader and an industry leader is to always think ahead, think about where the industry is moving towards. And uh, um, in many ways, you know, imagine the future and create it. So uh, when you look at uh, uh, some of all the products and portfolios that we are bringing into the market today, um, touchless and seamless access control are the most important elements that, uh, that stack up to form uh, a physical access control solution for our customers. So uh, without going into too much detail, I can just tell you broadly that um, as long as we are continuing to bring seamless and touchless access control solutions into the market, I think we are doing a good job. And I think we are continuing to protect people, uh, continuing to protect properties and assets. Excellent, excellent. Uh, wrapping up the interview, uh, today's session, thank you so much, Sanjeet, for your time, for this interview opportunity and these valuable insights. And we hope to have you again on TechX in future. Uh, thank you so much. So much. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Thanks, Robert. Goodbye, everyone. Stay tuned to TechX for more updates about technology industry.